Well, you found the next woodshed you need to go to. <laughs> this guy loves a woodshed. Hey, oh, welcome back to you, me, and the movies. Tonight. 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 Or today. Today. We got a special request. Special request. From the Dudester. Granddaddy Dudester coming That's in right. with his first request. And he is, he's requested. Where Eagles Dare. All right. A Clint Eastwood World War II movie. Love it. Yeah. I like Clint Eastwood. I've never seen this. I have not either. It's from 1968, so it's a young Clint. Oh, all right. Fresh out of his uh, sexy, good, the bad, the ugly days. Love it. Should be it. Should be pretty fun. Yeah, I've seen Kelly's Heroes, which is his His other other World World War II II movie. Yeah, I love that movie. I mean, that's in our DVD combo pack there. So yeah, can't wait to see it. Yeah. Thank you, Dudester, for picking a Clint Eastwood movie. Yeah. Well, should we jump into it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. Yeah, and if you want to be a granddaddy dudester, check out our Patreon link down below. You might be able to snag one of our special request slots. You can also get full length commentary, early access, and access to pulls up people we watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Oh, the Twitter and the Instagram. If you have it and you want to join us, you can. If you don't, just ignore it. Let's watch Where Eagles Dare. Here we go. Yeah, Richard Burton's in this too. Hmm. A Nazi plane. I'm assuming this is the German Alps that we're flying through. It's the Alps. I don't know if they're German or not. Is this black and white, or is it just dark right now? I think it's just the the color temperature of this snowy day. Yeah, I mean, I guess the writing is in red, so probably yeah, wouldn't be black and white. I was waiting for you to figure that out. <laughs> Such an idiot. What's in that plane? Hitler. Clint Eastwood's in it. Why would he be in a Nazi plane? Must be pretending to be Nazis. Or pretending to be a Nazi plane. So that they're not shot down. Castle of the Eagles. And believe me, it's well named. Because only an eagle can get to it. Our job is to get inside there and get him out as soon as possible. Before they have a chance to get the information from him. So they're doing a rescue mission to the eagle's nest? Sounds like it. You've been there. I have. It's very high in the air. If anybody has a chance of getting him out, you have. There is, of course, another way, sir. Whistle up a path, find a squadron of Lancasters with ten-ton bombs. I don't think anybody in that castle would ever talk again. He just wants to kill the guy. (laughs) I mean, he's not wrong. That is the only way to ensure that information doesn't get out. Brought the white parachute so they can't see him. In the snow. A girl sneaking in. They didn't know about the girl. Yeah. What's her job? Sexy distraction. Well, the Fraulein. Ow. Yeah, yeah, that one looked like it hurt. (laughs) All their camping supplies in there. Oh, backpacks like too. Mm-hmm. Everything. Where's Harry? Well, last time I saw him, he's drifting towards those trees over here. Stuck in a tree. Perhaps. They didn't pack snowshoes. Just sandals. He looks dead. That was the sergeant asking why we're going. That's why you don't ask questions. His neck's broken. Damage. See the guy that had that hard landing that we saw? Could be. He 
He's the comms guy. That radio was extra weight. Caused him to not land well. There's that or that chick caught up to him and... <laughs> they were all parachuted directly after <laughs> jumping out of the plane. They, it's not like they, she skydived towards him. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. A secret agent. I don't know. <laughs> I might be onto something here. No, oh, he's looking for his dog tags. No. I think he's looking for his dog tags. He might be onto something. Maybe the lady found him first, killed him. I thought he was looking for a rock that maybe hit his the back of his neck so on. He looked at his neck for the dog tags, and then looked under his head like to see if they fell off of him. Okay. At least that's what I assume. Damn it, I left that code book in Sergeant Harris' tunic. Well, I'll go and get it for you if you like. No, no, that's all right, Smiles. We saw him take it out of us. Jock, save me some coffee. It'll be cold by then. And they say that's an advantage. You can't taste cold coffee. I drink cold coffee every day. <laughs> I like it for the taste. So what's he actually doing? Because he He's already going has to look for back. whoever killed him, right? Scouting or something. But why isn't he saying that? I don't know. Secret rendezvous? Hold. Turn around. She's a secret agent lady. Time being, my radio operator was killed in the drop. What happened? Uh, something struck him in the back of the neck. Either the haft of a knife or the butt of a gun. The skin was unbroken, but it was badly discolored. Which Told you. Hidden to the right, there is a woodshed. I'll meet you there at exactly eight o'clock tomorrow night. It's a little hanky panky. If I were the marrying kind, which I'm. She's a sex agent. She's a sex agent. She's like a secret agent that confuses people with sex. Oh, okay. Right. I just thought he couldn't go on a mission without his girl, so. Threw in the back and told her to <laughs> parachute afterwards. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> I found woodshed all along the way for you. <laughs> A man has needs. Mm. You gonna notice he's not very cold after being gone for 30 minutes. She's gonna stand out there for a while. <laughs> what kept you? Well, I was, uh, I was very lucky. I ran into this fabulous blonde. Problem. He's going behind the lines as a Nazi, secret Nazi. They're all supposed to be undercover. Oh, yeah, that's right. So they all speak German. I'm going to think. Probably the storm, huh? Clint Eastwood's probably already radioed while he was gone. Could be. I mean, someone in their group is a double agent. Think so? If they killed the radio operator. I think it's the woman. Could be. He saw her and she was like, no, bam. Run off. And what I told you at the beginning, that she just went. You said she skydived down to him and snapped her, his neck midair. I didn't say that. <laughs> a sexy skydiving blonde. Are they already at the eagle's nest? I believe so. I've never seen it from that angle. Nor have I. Give me ten good men, some climbing gear. I'd impregnate the bitch. Good one. Is Hitler in town? I don't know. Field security. Major Van Happen. Gestapo. They're not saying hell, Hitler. <laughs> and then I gotta start blending in. Yeah. Like nobody saw them go in there. And their snow gear. Exactly. Is 
Remember, if you're asked for three drinks. One, two, three. But one always hopes that you're the one she'll never forget. Yeah, what was her name, anyway? Fred. <laughs> Shouldn't they be speaking German? Yeah, I think the idea is they're just speaking German, but they're not going to actually speak German and subtitle it. Just Oh. Because the Germans were all speaking English, too. Oh, you assume all the Germans yeah. that... Fair enough, okay. Right. So in your mind, pretend they're speaking German. Perfect. And translate it for yourself. Okay. Keep your ears open for anything about General Carnaby. We'd meet back here in half an hour. Don't get too plastered. <laughs> Thank you. Be in the woodshed in five minutes. Is that... I'll slap me across the face as hard as you can. Oh, it's the same woman. Your conduct does not become an officer of the Wehrmacht. Herr Major, when you talk to me. Major Bernard Himmler. Does the name mean anything to you? Senator's cover is Himmler? <laughs> it's a big wig. <laughs> Thank you. What were you and that Major talking about? I told him I was Himmler's brother. Oh. Uh. Clint's thinking of what brother he should be now. <laughs> Whose brother should I be? Take your clothes off. Don't off. Take your clothes off. Told you, he just wanted his girl around for a little hanky-panky when he's on his mission. I thought General Carnaby's plane crashed only yesterday morning. Well, that was carefully arranged. The plane was crash-landed in Oberhausen Military Airfield about five miles from here. The reason why I'm in a hurry to get into the castle is before they find out they haven't got General Carnaby. And the chap they've got knows no more about the second front than I know about the back end of the moon. He's an American corporal. His name is Cartwright Jones. He's an ex-actor. So they're just rescuing a look-alike? She wasn't the waitress. There's a, the waitress was somebody else that he knows. Oh... I was wondering. It's like he's gonna need a different woodshed. What a disguise! Let's tell all the girls who meet him in the woodshed then, huh? Mm-hmm. At least those two. Uh oh. It's one of his guys. Yeah. And, uh, I am going with her. Hmm? Oh, both of you, huh? What? They call it threesome in Germany. I don't know. I'll speak German. Yeah. They're being raided. They found the body. Oh. We are looking for four or five Alpen Corps deserters from Stuttgart. To escape, they killed two officers and a guard room sergeant. Check the papers. Well, gentlemen. Any suggestions? I <laughs> have somebody sabotaging. Gentlemen, see you after the war. Papers. See you after the war. <laughs> you know, myself and the others are the ones you're looking for. We've come to surrender. Lieutenant, take the three men away for questioning. The officers will come with me. Hello. Uh -oh. So right? was one of their other guys... Because there was five left, they said it was like three or four deserters. So one of those guys is saying that they're the yeah the, he's making shit up. Hmm. Oops. Uh oh. No driver. Everyone okay? All the good guys are. <laughs> an easy way to get him in. <laughs> the cars back then were just metal and motor. Wasn't much to them. Yeah, but probably more metal then than now, now so I imagine it was heavy. At least they put out the fire. Can I see your papers, please? And yours, Fraulein. Would you come with me, please? 
Perhaps I'll see you a little later. Thank you. Were their papers in order? Must have been. Well, actually, there were five British agents dressed in German uniforms. Area. And if there are foreign agents, then I am to be informed at once. Your military rank and position are obvious to me, Colonel. And so are your attempts to discredit me with my superiors in Berlin. Hmm. One of them, a double agent? Perhaps. Automatic, field glasses, ball of string and lead weight. Ball of string's gonna come real handy. <laughs> Guess it's occurred to you that the Germans probably know about all this stuff by now. They're just leaving their other guys. Yeah, they. He said, "See you after the war," and then wouldn't turn themselves in. I think he assumed they would take the officers away separately, and they'd make a mm -hmm. break for it. And they had climbing gear, so are they going to start climbing up the the castle? Maybe. It's a big old boom. There's other explosives in there that didn't help the. Yeah. Situation at all. Uh oh. Silent shot? Sounds gun aren't, aren't really that sh silent, though. No. <laughs> Nobody's noticing them. seems to care that they're in snow gear right now. Apparently not. Or they're all just too distracted by the explode explosions going around. It triggers some avalanches or something. Block off the eagle's nest so nobody can drive up to it or something. Well, you found the next woodshed you need to go to. <laughs> this guy loves a woodshed. Back in the bus and see if you can start the engine. I figured they'll be the guys with the snow plow when the avalanche goes off. I guess so, yeah. They'll be the only ones able to plow the road open. Well, that was the other guys. I thought that one of them looked like the one of their guys when they were driving by. Well, they're taking them to the buffet. <laughs> I love a buffet. <laughs> Which one was giving away all their positions, though? The back one. Well, they're all in the same trolley. Or gondola. She just happens to be looking at the right time. What is she doing? Not a clue. Gonna shoot him a rope to... Well, she's gonna drop a rope to him, I you think? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe tie a bed sheet to that beam and throw it out the window for him? Hope you're not afraid of heights. I mean, they're not invisible, so... They have those white suits on. <laughs> it's snowing out. Nobody can see them. <laughs> oh, shit, 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 shit. Need a second hook. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Which one of those five is a double agent? I don't know. <laughs> Just gonna pull him up with a string. <laughs> Super strong string. Well, they had the rope. He's making that look easy.
Get past that window, quick. Somebody's going to notice Clint Eastwood when he climbs by. You seem to have a lot of women stashed around this country, Major. <laughs> He's got a girl in every wood shack all across <laughs> Germany. It's a lot of work just to save an actor. Right? Yeah. But he's the only one that knows he's an actor, right? Or no, I, he told Clint. Yeah. That's the funk room. Very silent guns. Yeah. Just make a punching sound, really. Funk rooms a happening place. I don't think they'll be hiding those bodies there very long. I was just gonna say, like they're really stacking up in there. Yeah. It's a pretty small room. You know, General, we have drugs that will make you talk. We do not wish to use them, but where's that gonna get you, Colonel? Well, there are other drugs too. The lieutenant here is a trained nurse. She's gonna pinch his nipples until he talks. <laughs> <laughs> Some very interesting company coming up, General. The drugs may not be necessary. So one of those other three men is the mole, mm -hmm. I'm assuming, that knows that he's just an actor. I would imagine. Don't you think it's time we make a move? Any minute now. Maybe they're waiting until that guy reveals himself and they're going to shoot him before he says he's an actor and then take everybody else out in the room and get him out of there. You and me, we have a lot to talk about. That's yeah? Dusseldorf. I was a student there for many years, from 1929. Oh, Dusseldorf's part of her cover, and she probably has no idea what it's... Must be. I think the situation has changed sufficiently for you to give us the information we have been asking for. Nothing's changed, Colonel. Most unfortunate. Nipple pinching time. Gentlemen, I'm very glad to see you all here, safe and sound, enjoying a drink. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Lieutenant, drop that gun. What? Drop that. He, he's the double agent? I'd say that scopolamine would have little effect on our friend here, except, of course, to prove that he's not General Carnaby, but a certain Cartwright Jones. As a matter of fact, I think the drug would probably work better on our friends at the end of the table. They're our real enemies, General. Don't listen to him, General. It's a bluff. Keep quiet. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> is he a double yeah. agent? Trip, triple agent? He's pretending to be a double agent, but he's not because the other ones are actually double agents? Yeah, right? Now, first, the lieutenant. He's an assassin. A member of the American intelligence. His job is to shoot you, Colonel Kramer, and you, General Rosemeyer. <laughs> Their job was to penetrate the German high command instead of the real Thomas who uh, worked for us in London and were discovered and captured by the British about a month ago. That's another lie. You can't prove any of this. Can't I? <laughs> also, if these people are what they say they are, they would know the name of our top agent in Whitehall. And I should be in the same boat as you, but I know his name and you don't. I have no idea what's going on. Me either. <laughs> for his chief of intelligence, Major Wilhelm Vilner. Vilner sounds familiar. Ask him to show you his right forearm. May I see your right forearm? Certainly. The scars are there. Then tell him he's a traitor. Tell him he's a renegade. <laughs> yeah, that is Schmidt, no question about it. It would be reasonable, would it not, to expect them to be able to write down a list of those agents. Is he saying they're German spies pretending to be British? Or they're British spies. They're MI6. Well, yeah, it's MI6 is British spies. Pretending to be British soldiers who are now pretending to be German soldiers. Okay. Or something like that. I think. <laughs> I don't know. I'm having a hard time <laughs> keeping up. And this is all just a giant distraction. Yeah. 
compare it with my original. It's blank. As you were, gentlemen. Just relax. Everyone's confused. <laughs> yeah. This is all you want? Those books. Lots of nice names and addresses. Oh. So they were rats inside MI6. Mm -hmm. And he wanted their contacts. And that's the, their plan to get him. He truly believes in me to be one of his top agents in Italy. I've been feeding him useless, false, and out-of-date information for a couple of years. All right, gentlemen. Stay where you are! Uh oh. The lieutenant and myself had just uncovered a plot to assassinate the Fuhrer. This is preposterous! <laughs> <laughs> I don't expect you to believe me, Major. But you'll certainly believe these names if you'll permit me to show them to you. He's such a bullshit artist. Is he gonna give him the blank book? <laughs> Probably. Bring some here. Smith. He's an assassin. Oh. He got his job done. Mm -hmm. Think he was actually telling the truth about that part? That he was. He, he yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. 15 minutes, we have to create enough confusion to get out of here alive. Major, right now, you got me about as confused as I ever hoped to be. <laughs> <laughs> On the other side of the castle over here is the radio room. I'll take the others and meet you there. Oh, it's the thunk room. A lot of explosives. They're going to have to renovate this place. Isn't that the room in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade where him and his dad are tied up together and they hit the lever and it goes into a secret room? Could be. I think I just saw the secret lever in oh, the yeah. fireplace, the lion thing. It's the records room. Somebody's going to have a big surprise when they open that door. <laughs> They're speaking German. I got didn't have a very good gun for uh, guarding that place. <laughs> you don't want to interrupt that guy while he's chilling to music. <laughs> are about to get really hot around there. Oh, bummer. Did they shoot him to get with, begin with? Or did they want the alarm to go off? I don't think so. Uh-oh. Double fisting. Is Clint Eastwood the first action star to double fist machine guns? I doubt it. Maybe. Everything ready. We need transport. Understood? Over. Do you have it? Over. We have it. We have it all. Over. All sins forgiven. <laughs> it's one hell of a drop off. Hope they brought parachutes. Had a long timer on it. Climb out. Get on with it. Grenades. Oh damn. So he was just a distraction. Yep. That was a smart move. So how are they getting out? The exception of the chick in the 
old guy. They're all dressed like Germans, so... Nailed it. Clint Eastwood's having quite the kill count in this. Mm-hmm. You even got the janitors trying to put out the fire with their <laughs> mops. Those coats don't look that warm. Where does that window go to? Down the side of the castle. Oh, it was that window. That they climbed yep. past. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Roll over onto your back. They haven't even gone in the big room yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, in, like, the conference room. He's got like room, six dynamite right? bundles there. Here we go. Hitler's going to be pissed. <laughs> It survives. The eagle's nest, it survives. <laughs> Hitler, not so much. No one's manning the gondola right now? That's not even a word. What's that sign say? No spreken the Z Deutsch. Well, they're busy. <laughs> <laughs> and they're locked in. Get out of the rope and climb down. They're trying to come up with a plan. Don't trust him. Jump off and fake an injury. They let him go down the car and then stop it. Bring it back and right. shoot him. He gonna ride along? He sure is. All he's got is a bundle of dynamite and that steak. He's lucky he got back in the car. Why does he just spike him in the face? Right? I don't know. Bye. Aim for the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> you got like two minutes. Oh, he's going to swap. Perfect timing. Except for what's going to happen to the cable line once that thing blows up. Yeah, exactly. You hope that it holds. Oh, they're really far apart from each other. Oh, God. Hold on tight, sir. Doing a lot of climbing today. I know his arms are gonna be just killing him. Oh, he got up. He's good Hold now. Hold on tight. What are the people at the bottom gonna do when they have just a hook <laughs> arrive? That's not doing anything. It's denting the wood pretty good. Well, they have axes or something. They'll probably get through it better. Let's go. They're not going to have time to get all the way to the bottom before they break through that door. They're just going to be able to stop it. No, they got to hurry. They don't have enough time for this. Uh, yeah. None of those German shoulders are going to be small enough to be like, oh, they got away in the gondola. There's nothing we can do now. They're at the bottom. Oh, uh, they're going to be waiting at the bottom. MG Einstein. Oh, with a stationary gun, and they're ready. 
Are they going to jump off somewhere? I was wondering when this was going to come back into play. I was like, they never used that damn bus. It's her escape bus. She even brought party alcohol. <laughs> Are they going to jump off into the river here? Uh, that That's going to be, be cold. A, that would be a death sentence. I guess maybe. Burr. That screams hypothermia in a matter of, you know, minutes. <laughs> I can't feel anything. I can't. I mean, you wouldn't be able to hardly move your muscles, you know. Right next to the woodshed. Yeah, wood wood shack for the win. <laughs> oh, right in front of their faces. Is this their pickup? I think so. Ah, drinks to warm. Mm. Nice shooting from a moving van. Bus. Right. That's what I meant. Bus plow. <laughs> oh, I thought that was the horn. I thought he was taunting them. No. Oh. <laughs> 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 ha ha. So what's going to happen when he drives through all those bombs they already planted? Or are they skinny enough to get through? Um. Oh, it's on a delay timer. Oh, it sets the timer off? Yep. Yeah. I was just taking out the phone lines. There they go. All right. Get the sledgehammers. We got to beat this tree up. <laughs> yeah, it'll take them a while. <laughs> Oh, they're just going to blow up the tree. Can you imagine riding a motorcycle with a sidecar in that sort of slush? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that would be it. Like, terrifying. Uh oh. Think skinny. Oh, they're going to blow the bridge. I spit, sorry. Oh, they're going to blow the bridge. Sure brought a lot of dynamite. They really did. Oh, that motorcycle's gonna get there soon. It's not gonna be able to stop. Gotcha. Not shooting Tex. Uh oh. Go faster! Oh jeez. That stunt looked like it hurt. Yeah. That'll stop him. It's a beautiful mountain. Mm-hmm. One engine out. Losing altitude. Over. You are cleared for immediate landing. We bought it. You know, I don't think I've ever seen a bus with a plow on it. I've not. To get all the fire planes. So we don't fill up the gas tanks in those things. <laughs> They got him. Great shooting in this movie, you know? Yeah. Well, by everybody but the Germans. Right. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And I think the Germans have hit a shot other than his hand that one time. That was just a lucky shot, too. Oh, God, pull up. 
bulletproof glass. And they're away. Mike Hawk, Amanda Hug and Kiss, <laughs> IP Freely, great names. Good ones. Ted Barkley. I can't believe it. And Thomas. And Christensen. All three of them. God, it's incredible. That's yeah, quite. But not as incredible as the one name that's missing from that list. His, his name. Mm hmm. I knew he was fishy the whole time. I have it in this notebook, here in my pocket. Isn't it the empty book? Oh. You see, you underestimated Admiral Rowland. He suspected you and the others for some time, because you knew from German intelligence that I was a double agent. Colonel, your pointing that gun at me is uh, sufficient evidence. Yeah, it's Pretty dead giveaway there. Do I have an alternative? If you want it. Jump out of the plane? Yeah, so that would be my guess. I'll uh, have those books. <laughs> yeah, you don't get to take those with you. Bye. He's got a lot of think about as he jumps down. Long way down. Mm -hmm. Next time you have one of these things, keep it an all British operation. <laughs> Isn't she going to introduce Clint to her cousin? <laughs> all right. We're Eagles Dare. Well, you know, I'm not going to lie, that was. One of the more confusing ones. Yeah. Like, I just couldn't quite piece together what was happening. Pretty complex uh, spy flick there. Yeah, it was really good, though. I love a good yeah. spy movie. A good little action sequence there at the end with their getaway, too. Yeah. So, yeah. No idea what's going on there. Longest time I thought he was actually a double agent and was the one going to turn code on Clint Eastwood. And then yeah. At one point, I was like, we haven't really seen Clint Eastwood when all this stuff was going down. Was he, is he I, maybe the he's bad the guy? Double agent, yeah. He's gonna. <laughs> but I mean, Clint Eastwood never plays a bad guy, right? I can't but imagine. That would have been a surprise. They planted that actor as the fake general mm -hmm. to plan this fake mission, just so that they just could so they identify can... who the rats were. Yeah. yeah, very complex. Clint Eastwood was even in. Confused about what was going on. He wasn't in on it. He so was just. I was just here to shoot somebody. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I didn't that was tell him good. anything. Yeah, it was really good. Well, uh, they definitely repaired the eagle's nest after that whole thing happened. I do believe. Before the end of the war. Hmm. Right. I don't know if this is based on a true story or not, though. I'm sure not. Yeah. yeah. I think it was just a. I think it was just a fun fictionalization adaptation of something. Okay. Well, look out, James Bond, Richard Burton, and yeah. Smith. He was good, too. Yeah. What's on your mind? Well, thank you, Dudester, for picking such an awesome Clint Eastwood movie. Yeah. Um, one that I'd never seen, which was yeah. great. And I never really heard of this until... And who who doesn't love Clint Eastwood, right? Exactly. Especially a young Clint Eastwood. This mm -hmm. had to have been before Dirty Harry. Yeah, I think it was a couple years before Dirty Harry and like right after like his Western trilogy of Good, Bad, the Ugly and Fistful of Dollars and stuff. So Yeah. Or... Very close He's to He's very it. handsome in this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right as he was starting off being an action action star. Right? Yeah. So. Thank you, dude, Stir, so much. Appreciate your patronage and your selection this month. That was awesome. Absolutely. And, um, like, okay, so what's your who's your favorite character in this movie, then? Yeah, are you for Schaefer, Smith, or uh, what was her name, Mary? Mary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Mademoiselle. The Fräulein. Yeah. So. That. I thought that SS agent was gonna play her a little bigger part, and then he just got yeah, he's the schooled by a, he's the he's the poor guy who just wants to be in charge, yeah. but thought he was gonna get some from the ladies, dicking and then, around too much with the ladies. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, let us know your favorite character and where Eagles Dare. Anything else? Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out, and Dudester. Thanks so much. Yeah, and if you want to be like Dudester and snag one of those special request lots, check out our Patreon link down below. You can also get early access, full income, and access to polls helps people we watch next. Thanks, I'm there. Check it out. 
Till next time, have a good one. Bye.